In this introduction, we will talk a little bit about GOMS. GOMS is a cognitive framework used to study task analysis. GOMS stands for its acronym Goals, Operators, Methods, and Selection Rules. Human information processing is a very complex task. It involves the sensory processing and the brain takes in the information and it becomes perception. With the interplay of short-term memory and long-term memory, the user gives a response. Through the study of human information processing, we can better understand the task at hand, which in turn can lead to better approximations of calculations, such as execution time and learning time. Through this, we can generate a qualitative and quantitative model of the task. So is there a reliable framework to study designs? Can we make models out of these designs and predict their performance? These are questions that many designers face when designing complex systems. And the answer is yes, you can use GOMS. But why use GOMS? Well, GOMS is conceptually easy to understand and execute. With only four components, it is easily broken down. It is very flexible to the changing needs of a task by changing the model slightly. And most importantly, given a detailed description of a task, GOMS can create a very detailed predictive model of the task that you can use to predict the performance of the users. GOMS is used to create a predictive model but to any designer, it is of course useful to better understand the usability of the system and most importantly, to create a very satisfying user interface for its users. Let's start with an example. The G in GOM stands for goal. It is the main objective of a task, the big picture. For as an example, travel to Boston from New York City is the overarching goal. M stands for methods. They are sub-goals that help achieve the main objective of the task. As an example, a sub-goal can be catching a taxi cab to go buy tickets to achieve the ultimate goal of flying to Boston. Operators are actions that one will take to achieve a goal or a sub-goal. In the previous example, ordering a cab driving to the airport, buying tickets, waiting in line, boarding the flight, all are operators. You can think of selection rules as if-or statements. They are deciding factors on how to choose different methods based on certain situations. Example, if a cab doesn't arrive in time, you can take a train to go buy the tickets, or if there are no more tickets, you could always take a train to go to Boston. There are many real-world applications of GOMS. Some are listed here such as mechanical CAD system design, TV control system designs. In fact, any human endeavor that can be analyzed using task analysis can apply GOMS. To show you the versatility of the GOMS method, let us take an example. A modern test case such as sending video messages to a smartphone device. We first identify the goal, the primary objective of the task, which is to use the phone messaging app and send a video message to a recipient. In this case, we can use any type of messaging app such as iMessage, Viber, WhatsApp. The methods are the sub-goals, such as identifying the app to use for sending the message, to familiarize with the use of the camera function, either forward or back facing camera. To log into the application, these are all methods that helps achieve the goal. We now understand the limitations of the system we are using by identifying the operators, such as the app using physical gestures, locating using cognitive processes, or typing on a keyboard or tapping on the screen of the system. These are all operators that can be performed on the system. 
Intellectual rules for this task can be things such as, if a certain app is unavailable, then choose one that is. If a camera is being used by another app, then first close that app and open the messaging app again. Such selection rules are all possible scenarios that are put in place so that it will help the users achieve the ultimate goal of sending video messages. As with all techniques, GOMS is not perfect as well. Some of the disadvantages of using GOMS are, it assumes that a task is being performed by experts and is done without error. It only works for goal-directed tasks, and it does not address things such as readability or how easy it is to memorize certain tasks and commands. Thank you for watching this introduction. For more information, consult these sources.